Over the weekend, the Department of Justice announced it has taken a significant step in gun control enforcement with the establishment of the National Extreme Risk Protection Order Resource Center. According to the Department of Justice, the ERPO Resource Center will provide training and technical assistance to individuals like law enforcement, judges, and victim service providers who are also responsible for implementing laws designed to prevent individuals posing threats from accessing firearms. The initiative aims to establish a civil process similar to domestic violence protection orders, allowing intervention to temporarily restrict firearm access for those deemed at risk of harming themselves or others. Attorney General Merrick Garland praised the initiative, stating it will equip partners nationwide with valuable resources to prevent firearm-related tragedies. The ERPO has already stirred controversy among some Republicans, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia called it a massive red flag operation. Representative Thomas Massey from Kentucky expressed his disapproval, referring to the move by the DOJ as evil. And Representative Kat Kamick from Florida raised concerns about Second Amendment rights. During President Joe Biden's State of the Union address earlier this month, he reaffirmed his commitment to a ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines.